Hi students, I hope you're healthy and happy. Uh, I'm Julie Bargman, Professor of Landscape Architecture, and I'm teaching one of the research studios. I hope you'll consider it. Uh, it's a studio in parallel with Bill Sherman's, um, Bill Sherman's uh, studio. We're both working on a version of the Venice Project. Um, so uh, for me, it's a departure in a way but not uh, to my interest in shrinking cities, and now it's just sinking cities. Um, and same issues, uh, a, you know, population that is dealing with a troubled landscape and they need um, a new vision for it. So that's what we're gonna do, so. Um, I'm looking for, okay, I'm hoping this is working. Here's the, come on. Sorry about that. But here, um, uh, the title I've given to the, the studio section um, is The Next Tide, um, Urban Form Shaped by Rising Water. And one thing that I want to bring into the fold here is that this studio, if part, part of it is my manifesto in relationship to your manifestos, uh, is, a, um, is a criticism of the status quo or the approaches to um, cities dealing with sea level rise. And that is one of, of resistance, um, which I think um, is actually a little silly. Um, uh, that, um, you know, it's a capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, which means that you're recovering back to a prior condition or, you know, and instead I want to advocate cyclical thinking that recognizes dynamic patterns of regenerative processes. And here you can see vocabulary that I think we want to reject um, of reactive, but instead be proactive. Um, and so on being, um, oh, that's supposed to say not ISK, but risk uh, versus reality, and most important, um, opportunity versus crisis. And we are not going to be superheroes. Uh, it's not about being uh, saviors uh, or coming to the rescue. Um, it's about, um, again, kind of in a um, modest but really profound way, looking for um, the, next, um, the next tide, the next um, city. And this is, uh, the studio is asking you to take your better than 2020 vision, haha, -ha, um, to look at the world um, in a way that goes past the present, to look towards a future, an optimistic one, because um, we certainly could use that to look beyond where we are, which is difficult. Um, so, Again, it's about a vocabulary we would develop uh, looking at urban form of, of and for the future. Um, and there'll be very, there'll be different languages um, in the, um, in the studio because we're going to be looking at studios um, around the world. Now I should say that what's important here about a criteria for a city that's on the list that you can choose or a city that you, you know, uh, want to look at that meets your research agenda is um, two primary attributes, you know, that it has the ecological complexities. And it's about that kind of, you know, complicated, maybe conflicted relationship with their water body, you know, kind of a love-hate, you know, relationship. Um, and then the second is, uh, in particular, some really outstanding, unique cultural assets that define their urban identity, because it's identity in some of these shrinking and sinking cities um, that are something that needs to find um, uh, a, a strong home. Uh, here are some of the cities um, that Bill and I are recommending um, for study, but again, the important part is that they uh, they meet some of your research agenda, even if it's like maybe thesis, um, uh, questions um, and experiment with them uh, in these cities. Um, here they are. There they are with all their little, you know, um, love, hate, beautiful 
um, but tortured uh, relationships with the water. Um, and here's a few examples of, you know, cities where, you know, you have the ecological dilemma, right? Rising sea levels, seasonal high tides and subsidence. Uh, but then, and then there's also the cultural assets um, that are absolutely fantastic, we all know. But I also uh, wanted to add here that you'll be studying is the sea level rise initiatives. Um, maybe look how fantastic they are and, uh, uh, or look at how stupid they are um, and look at, you know, take the budget that the Army Corps has and use that to build, you know, a pretty amazing uh, urban form. Um, and New Orleans, uh, as we know, uh, um, really, um, you know, needs a new interpret or interpretation of itself. Um, uh, we know how fantastic it is. And then they also have built, you know, a kind of heroic uh, form of um, dealing with hurricanes. And then uh, Mumbai, um, uh, again, um, all of this kind of amazing um, uh, conflicted relationships with their landscape, um, a strong cultural asset at risk. I guess they're competing with New Orleans for the amount of confetti and bright colors. Um, uh, and then um, an initiative here that maybe is less heroic, but in a maybe a more modest but profound way, um, looking at mangroves as infrastructure. Um, and then there's always samples of the Dutch, of course, and of the UK with their sand machines. Uh, the mid-Atlantic coast using Christmas trees, again, a little bit more modest, but I don't know, maybe effective if they have tinsel on them. But um, And then, you know, lifting up uh, buildings in the air, um, taking down buildings that are in quote-unquote harm's way. One could argue they could become more amphibious. Um, and then Bangkok, uh, this really cool thing, this, uh, this park that has a reservoir underneath it to holding millions of gallons of water. Um, and this is a, 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 a page out of um, OMA's um, proposal of under rebuild by design and it drives me crazy you know resist really no to let no no it's all mitigation uh, I'm surprised REM isn't a little more visionary here um, and uh, and this is scape uh, for rebuild by design and I do appreciate here granted the word resiliency is there but maybe in the better way um, and building um, uh, social, um, which was very interesting about their their scheme. Um, and then, you know, what the heck is this? We can look at you know, some pretty absurd, crazy-ass things. Um, this is in Bill's uh, presentation. A lot of it is that we, we, we shared. Um, uh, and then the rising current um, exhibit, some lessons uh, to be learned or rejected here. Um, Future Cities Lab is fantastic with Natalie Gattegno and uh, Jason Kelly Johnson. They, it, it, that reminds me that, you know, Bill and I are really going to rope in a lot of these experts, uh, and it'll be really fun. We're thinking they can provide some expertise for the whole studio, but maybe they uh, break off and work with um, to, uh, some smaller groups, so you have kind of significant work sessions with them. Um, and look at that. That's crazy. Um, uh, and Currentscape, um, I contend that that, that image above would be a lot messier if it got flooded. It doesn't, it won't look like a Japanese garden for, for long. Probably look even better. And this is Terraform, Mitch Joachim, who is really working uh, very hard on the, um, on, uh, future cities. Um, and what those might be, um, 
really radical ideas about transforma uh, transportation, etc. So, um, and then a little triptych here I did of, of Lower Manhattan, um, of New Amsterdam, um, and how these different perspectives, uh, again, uh, Big U for Rebuild by, by Design was doing uh, resistance. Um, uh, and I think AR, ARO and DLAN Studio was doing less so about that. But And hey, you know, in the historic photo, they just took the boats. How smart is that? Um, and then other examples that are built in other studio, other cities that, you know, with the water coming right into um, the heart of the city. This is, is Hamburg. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's, you know, it takes on a major amount of flooding. It's pretty fantastic, by the way. Saw this. Um, and, you know, a few things here. Uh, a lot of words, but you can look. This is so you look at the, you can look at the video later. Um, you're going to pick a city of your research interest. You're going to write a manifesto and a mission statement. You're going to operate a range of scales. Design resolution is at the scale of your choice. You're going to think globally, but design details of living with each other. The more risks and failures, the better, please. Um, but there's also accountability for equity and beauty will be enforced. And most important that I get from uh, Ajra and Hoja, no sissy landscapes. Um, and just to know, so you guys know the format, the studio is online only, but we'll mix up the interactions to keep things fresh. There are going to be a few interdisciplinary sessions with the whole group, um, but also both group and small with experts. Smaller groups organized by geography and similar issues, disciplinary LAR group um, work sessions, and as many desks, desk crits absolutely as possible. And the other mandate here is that you, you must love your work. Um, and the last side here of, of simply asking the question, which I'll be asking throughout the studio, and then is what and who matters. Okay, thank you.